Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the biggest stars in the world and some of my favourite people. And we have two stars for you today who have just made a major announcement. Last week, we announced that Mind Freak Live is opening May 11th at the Luxor in Las Vegas. Another major announcement today. Chris Angel has signed Chloe Crawford, the star of Britain's Got Talent, in this brand new strip production called Mind Freak Live. And I'm delighted to say they both join us on the phone now from Las Vegas. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing, Alex? I am delicious, but not as good as you. Chloe, how are you? I'm doing really, really, really good. Thank you. I guess it doesn't get any bigger than this, does it? To have a show in Las Vegas is one thing, but to be in the biggest show in Las Vegas at the Luxor with all those seats, thousands of them every night, twice a night, and you're the co-star of it must be a great thrill. It is. I. It's, it's more than I could ever have dreamed of performing for that many people you know, 10 shows a week starting in May. It's it's beyond anything I, I could ever, ever dream of. It's going to be a great show. Uh, it, it's going to be amazing. Chris, what did you see in the stunningly beautiful Chloe Crawford? I saw a very charismatic presence, incredible talent, intelligence, and a dedication for hard work that's second to none. What's amazing about magic, they say there aren't many female comedians, and it's probably true. It's possibly because many of them aren't very good, but this is your love, isn't it? You take this very seriously, Chloe. I do. I really do. Um, You know, I've been dancing my whole life, and I haven't been in magic as long as a lot of uh, magicians, you know, only about 10 years. But I really love it. I really feel like this is what I was meant to do. And I'm so grateful that Chris saw potential in me and is really pushing me to, to be the best uh, female magician in the world. And it's, and it's funny because, uh, I mean, I, I know all the magicians that are out here, you know, and, and she's already surpassed, you know, most of the guys playing on the strip. I mean, she is uh, a force to be reckoned with, a triple threat. I guess what you have to be is compelling. You have to make us want to sit there for 90 minutes. How do you do that, Chris? I mean, you've sort of mastered this more than anyone, getting the online stuff, more hits than anyone else around the world on YouTube, continually in the press. How do you do what you do? It's called uh, hard work. There's no substitute for that. And it's always uh, pushing yourself to try to go into uncharted territories, to remain relevant and and to do that you must challenge yourself and for me it's about pushing the envelope you know I could have taken Mind Freak Live and you know kind of chilled read a teleprompter and and you know took it easy uh, as I get older but instead I'm doing a complete antithesis I'm working harder it's more physical it's more dangerous I have to be more focused and I'm surrounding myself with a brand new cast that really raises the level of talent so the totality of the show uh, from the illusion perspective to technology and how we have 3D, you know, uh, literally immersion experiences and, and, and uh, the incredible light show, lasers. It's just everything has to go to the next level as we step into the future so that I can have the number one brand, not only in Vegas, but the world and continue to do so. I didn't do this for any other reason because Believe was bringing in $150 million, according to Newsweek magazine, a year. And that's, you know, more than any other magician in Vegas or the world for that matter. Um, I did this because creatively I wanted to challenge myself. Cirque gave me uh, an offer that I couldn't refuse. And it was an offer that I had to take to really show the world what I'm truly capable of. Because Believe, although it's a great show and it's done incredibly well for Luxor and Cirque, it really never showed the full potential of my of my talents and ability. We spoke very briefly last week. I just want to talk to you about doing that show for seven years. Could you talk to us just a second about the toil that that's taken on you? Because it's not easy getting up every day for seven years doing the same thing. How did you get through that? Well, it'd be a lot easier if I was just staying around the house and then doing the two shows a night. But I get up at 5.30, 6.30 in the morning. I train. I go to my studio. I'm working there. I'm working on television stuff. I'm working on all sorts of things. So it becomes, you know, really quickly 
right now an 18, 20 hour a day, seven days a week. And it's, it's mental, mentally uh, very difficult sometimes to be perfectly frank. But if you want to achieve uh, a certain level of artistic merit, you must put forth the sweat and blood equity in order to do that. And I never want to coast. I want to be the best at what I do. I want to be the best uh, for myself and for my fans. And so it's always about challenging myself. And it's a love-hate relationship, quite frankly. It's sometimes very difficult. But in order to mean, uh, you know, the, the guy that's out there that's the most relevant in the world, you got to bust ass because the minute you, you, you think about what you've accomplished yesterday is the minute that the next new guy's coming up to take that spot. And I'm not going to give that spot up until I'm ready to say, you know what, I've done this enough. I have nothing more to say creatively, artistically, and then I'll, I'll retire. But I don't do this for money. Uh, I do this because it's what I'm passionate about and working with people like Chloe and, 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 and Matteo and, and some of the incredible new artists that I have and Cirque du Soleil and, you know, just all these incredible people that work for me at my studio. And, you know, we just, we're just collectively working together to make a piece of art, a spectacular experience that really goes beyond the world of magic and what we know and really will set a new standard um, for what's expected from a magic experience. Will Matteo be joining you in this new show? I know you had him on The Supernaturalist and, of course, Believe for all those years. Will he be joining you on the new show, Mind Freak? Without a question. He will also uh, be a co-star. It's, uh, it's Chloe and him. Yes, just the two of them and you. And I know that you've said that you're going to work harder than ever before in this show. What does that mean? You're going to be doing more illusions within the 90 minutes? Yes, there'll be more magic in this show than any other show in magic's history, including my own show. I mean, I, I'm ramping this up. I'm bringing, you know, the best of the Supernaturalist, the best of Mind Freak Live on tour, the best of Believe and brand new things, putting them all together in this experience that truly is an evolution. And we'll show people many different sides of Chris Angel uh, as I've had throughout the course of my career and it will give people the understanding of what the genesis uh, was uh, to get here. I think you were one of the first to realise the days of an audience sitting, spending 20 minutes getting through one illusion have gone. We just won't sit through it. Pace and energy is sort of your calling card, isn't it? And that, I suppose, is the backbone of Mind Freak Live. Yeah, well, what's crazy about this show is that it has more illusions, as I said, than any other show. And the, the pace is frenetic. It's crazy. It's like a roller coaster ride. I mean, you never know what's going to come next. It's scary. It's seductive. It's mysterious. It's ominous. It's funny. It's sexy. And of course, it's heartwarming. Uh, so you have something in this show for everyone. But I am, I am physically in the best shape of my life. I'm mentally uh, uh, prepared and focused to do what's to be done. And more than ever, I'm so excited about this show because this is something that uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to do anything like this for the rest of my life. It's just like it's my time because uh, of, of the venue, of the Cirque and Luxor slash MGM support, where I'm at in my career, my facility, what I had available, the ideas I've been working on for 18 years, it all came together and I've never worked on a project where everything seemingly just falls into place so perfectly. Now you have to keep in mind, all right, this is a show that literally physically is coming together in 12 weeks. This is a show I've been working on for, you know, over a decade, uh, almost two decades, but finally just coming together, physically finishing props, rehearsing, putting all of these other elements from lighting, state of the art, you know, the most technological lighting available and more of it. LED, uh, Barco uh, provided me the best four millimeter LED, brand new technology walls that are gonna be prominent in the show. There's gonna be layers of video wall, there's gonna be layers of rear projection, of front projection, of scrim. 
Uh, there'll be uh, you know lasers and, and multicolor lights. There'll be uh, pyrotechnic landscapes. Um, so you're going to have so many different things that are coming together in 12 weeks and a brand new you know soundtrack. Uh, and we're going to actually see the musicians playing the music live on stage. So there is so many things that we're doing to alter the theater um, and to load out the old show and bring on this new spectacular show as well. And the fans want to know, will the Chris Angel scream be there throughout the show? I mean, they don't want to lose that as well as believe. The, the scream? The, the Chris Angel scream. You know, that thing you do that nobody else could do. Only dogs can hear it. <laughs> well, you know what? It's... Uh... It's, it's interesting because one of the things that I'm doing with this show is making it more universal, meaning that there's a lot less talking. You know, when you come see Believe, which is a fantastic show, and I invite people to take advantage of the special offer that uh, Luxor is offering and Cirque is offering right now to see bold shows for a very special price to compare them for yourself. But, you know, in Believe, I come out as Chris Angel and it's kind of like this intimate evening where I do a lot of different things as Chris Angel and kind of you know what you're going to get from Chris Angel throughout the course of the evening because it's the same kind of Chris Angel. Well, in this new show, there's a lot of different types of Chris Angel from different eras of my career. So you're going to get the goth, you know, makeup Chris Angel. You're going to get, you know, the the mind freak uh, television Chris Angel. You're going to get uh, the supernaturalist Chris Angel from, from 2002. You're going to get uh, the brand new Chris Angel. So it's all of these versions of Chris Angel uh, kind of created and updated for today's audience, but you're going to see many different sides, and I get to act, um, you know, because I've I love acting. I've acted in CSI New York. I played a killer. Uh, you know, I just did Andrew Dice Clay's um, a new reality show, a new uh, new television show written by and directed by the guy that did Hangover. Um, so so I love acting. So now I get to play a lot of different things. And it's not just one dimensional because magicians up to this point will literally just come out and they'll present their puzzles and it's the same thing over and over and over again. What I want to do is bring a theatricality to this show that takes what I'm doing and presents it in different ways and you never know what's going to be expected or what's going to come up next, I should say. You say we get all the different Chris Angels. Will we get the guy liner Chris Angel, the one who, you know, does that thing? I've never tried eyeliner myself, but you pull it off well. You're going to get, <laughs> put it this way, <laughs> everything that a fan would love. And if people don't know who Chris Angel is, there's a 25-minute uh, pre-show video that's called Evolution, and it tells the whole story of kind of the genesis of my career and all the different arc incarnations of Chris Angel so that by the time I'm on stage, you know, you're prepared and you understand uh, why you're about to see certain things. I have to admit, in all my years of show business, I've never met anybody more courageous than yourself that takes such big risks and works harder. You literally never stop. I don't know how you do it. Very finally, back to Chloe. Um, how does it feel that you were chosen? I mean, Chris has the pick of the crop. Anyone, anywhere in the world he could fly in, and he chose you. How does that feel? It's. I feel so lucky. I really do. You know, I, I reached out to Chris and, you know, and said I really want – you to take a chance on me and and see you know that I really want this and to push me and and you know see what he could do with me and you know it, it really paid off kind of taking that chance I you know I got to do the supernaturalist with him uh, a couple of times last year on tour which was an amazing experience uh, for me and now to do you know his resident resident show at the Luxor in Vegas is you know who gets the chance to do that when they you know when they've been in magic, you know, a shorter time as I have. And it's interesting. I mean, you're no uh, novice to Las Vegas or the Las Vegas Boulevard. You were there at the Luxor in fantasy for many years. People love you in that show. Um, and I know the calendar did very well last year. So big audiences is nothing that you're unused to. Well, this is a little bigger. <laughs> Chris's theatre is much, much bigger than, uh, than what I've played in the past. So I I'm really excited for that. And the pressure of that? Are you excited at this point or are you terrified? <laughs> no, I'm really excited. Of course, I'm a little nervous. I, you know, I want to 
do a great job for Chris, make him proud. No, I'm really, really excited. And there's so much new stuff going into the show. And to see that process, you know, literally from the drawing board up to, to performance it is such a, a great experience for me to, to be able to go through. And it's interesting. I mean, when we look back at your career through Sports Illustrated and Playboy and then Britain's Got Talent, do you think that TV exposure could be a reason you're sat there or do you think you'd have made it anyway? It certainly did you no harm. I think Britain's Got Talent definitely helped. Um, You know, I I said I wanted to do magic and no one really took me seriously. Everyone said, you know, I'm too late, I'm too late because everyone, you know, starts... You know, when they're, they're when they're kids with magic kits, that's that's how everyone starts off. But I really wanted to do it, and even though everyone said no, you can't, no, you can't, I went and did it anyway. And I hope I've kind of started to prove myself that uh, that I can do this, that I and I really want it. And you know, when I want something, I. I work as hard as I can until I get it I really do Chloe you're making yourself sound 106 how old are you now (laughs) I'm not quite 106 I have a birthday coming up next month though you know I expect a lot from myself I you know I I'm very ambitious and as soon as I've achieved one thing I'm already on to the next and and you know I really want to build on this I'm learning a lot from from Chris and you know a lot of magicians that you know they're doing the same thing they've done their whole lives the same act for 20 years and I don't want to get stuck, you know, in that. I want to keep on building and keep on learning. And I think that's how Chris has been so successful. From your perspective, is there any greater magician currently or illusionist than Chris Angel? Is he the bar of moving magic forward? He is. That's that's why I, you know, that's why I was like, please, you know, let me work with you and, and, uh, and you know, make me the best female magician in the world. Chris Angel's Mind Freak Live is coming to the Luxor this May. It opens on May 11th, and I'm hoping to be there. I wish you all the best, and uh, thank you for talking to us today. One final question, Chris, about your son. When I was last in town, we had the terrible news that he was so seriously poorly. How's he doing right now? He is uh, doing remarkably well, according to his doctors, which I was in Australia about a week and a half ago and spent a lot of time with him and going through his chemo and talking to his doctors and You know, but at the end of the day, no child should ever go through anything like this. It is a horrific nightmare for any kid to go through this. And so we want to take uh, lemons and make lemonade from this horrible experience. And so what we're doing is September 12th, we are having a major event in my theater at the Luxor trying to raise $1 million in one night with 100% of the proceeds, not one cent will come out for any so-called expenses. I will fund it all myself, but 100% of the proceeds will go to research and treatment for pediatric cancer. And we are setting it up right now. We have an incredible lined up that's building. Uh, so far, you know, we have some of the biggest legends in entertainment, coupled with some of the uh, incredible performers from the strip. Everybody has really uh, come to support this cause in a way that goes beyond, you know, literally my wildest dreams. I mean, Siegfried and Roy, Siegfried called me yesterday and said, Chris, we, uh, Roy and myself would love to be part of this. So you have Siegfried and Roy, two legends, two institutions for Las Vegas when it comes to the very best in magic and, and people that set a bar and did something that had never been done before. You know, they have Siegfried and Roy and then have Lance Burton confirm. Uh, and, and I have some other ones that people are going to be very surprised uh, that are participating um, is just mind-blowing really it's just mind-blowing to have um some of the talent and everybody kind of reach out to participate in this thing and i think it's going to be a very memorable night my goal is to have johnny here and we believe he will be healthy enough to be here to make an appearance on stage along with other children and it's going to be a night that has a celebrity auction it's going to be a unique show Uh, And it's just going to be something that's going to be putting out love and positivity uh, in the world and hopefully raise the awareness and be a voice for these children that are going through this horrific scenario. 
Well, I wish you all the best with that. If there's anything I can do, let me know. When I got back on the plane in October after your news, it does make you realise no matter how big you are, no matter how much of a smart ass you think you are, these things can come into our lives and you have to deal with them. No amount of money or success can change that. And uh, I think you've dealt with it incredibly bravely. And to do the show and everything else on top is really incredible. Chris Angel, thank you for your time. Chloe Crawford is the new star of Mind Freak Live. It's coming to the Luxor Las Vegas from May 11th. You can see it there and believe continues until the middle of April. Chris and Chloe, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. God bless. Take care.